drive, sport shift, neutral, reverse, and park. I'm Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca. This is the 2022 Acura TLX Platinum Elite. And in this video, The 2022 TLX is the latest in a line of Acura sedans that I grew up obsessed with in my teenage years before logging many testing miles over a 16-year career. The first TLX hit the market for model year 2015, and here's what it looked like back then. This car was created to replace the TL and TSX sport sedan models with a single machine to fill the empty space in the lineup created by the customer's shrinking demand for sedans. I've accumulated a dozen or so published stories on these machines, formed after over 12,000 kilometers of testing TL, TLX, and TSX models over the years. And now, for 2022, I get to show you the latest incarnation of a car that's always captivated my attention, thanks to the character that Acura engineers into the way their sport sedans drive and feel. The new TLX is built on a dedicated platform structure that's developed to achieve high targets when it comes to handling, performance, and safety. On that front, the TLX on your screen has already earned some of the highest safety scores in the business, and it uses an award-winning new airbag design, dubbed the Catcher's Mitt, that helps catch and cradle occupant heads and torsos to help prevent brain injuries in certain types of crashes. Elsewhere, the new sport sedan body structure is home to a double wishbone suspension, a setup that's rare in sedans but common in some of the world's best handling cars, and that's to ensure enthusiast drivers are nicely covered with this machine. The engineers even doubled the structural rigidity at the suspension mounting points to make a better foundation upon which to tune the suspension. If you're an enthusiast, you'll also approve of what's under the hood. It's dual overhead camshaft VTEC turbo power, with a boosted 2.0 liter 4 doing 272 horses at 6,500 revs and 280 pounds of torque available from just 1,600. So here's a flexible engine that quietly serves up plenty of snap for city driving and works hard when called upon. This version of the TLX is not a speed demon, but you do get that VTEC snarl overlaid with a turbocharged soundtrack and a solid shove into your seat. And if you grew up obsessing over fast Hondas and Acuras from previous decades like I did, the sound and character of this engine spinning fast will take you back. Beneath the floor, it's super handling all-wheel drive, cleverly vectoring drive power between and across the axles and even using the all-wheel drive system to help steer and turn the car in fast corners. And it enhances all-weather traction too. With the latest updates, Acura's Trick all-wheel drive system can send 40% more torque to the rear axle 30% more quickly, and split 100% of that rear axle torque between the tires. All of that with the capability of spinning a single rear wheel slightly faster than all of the rest. This system is expert at wheel-by-wheel -wheel power control with a bag of tricks up its sleeve. And from the driver's seat, the experience is as athletic or confidence-inspiring as you like. So this is kind of cool, check this out. So engine and transaxle up front, sending power to uh, the front wheels. And if we come in and get right in there, it's gonna be a little tricky to focus, but we can see this uh, metal shroud here, and that's actually a prop shaft or a drive shaft right there sticking out of the back. And so the front axle sits just ahead of this, and that shaft there is what transfers uh, the torque to the rear axle, which is between the rear wheels. That is pretty neat. There's a 10-speed automatic with push-button shift, and just above that, the dynamic selector dial, just a twist or a poke, calls up changes to the drive settings that turn the TLX from laid-back fuel sipper to riled-up sport sedan with a flick. The driver's selection is confirmed with an engaging on-screen animation, change to the cabin mood lighting, and video game sound effects. Park is push, reverse is a downward tap on that little toggle. Park, reverse, neutral, and drive. We click there and press again for uh, sport shift. 
And of course, that's all referenced up here in that central screen. Tap uh, DS once, that gives you drive, and tap that button again for sport shift. Dynamic mode, uh, we just switch left, right. That toggles between uh, comfort, normal, and sport. And if we push down on the button, we're actually able to customize an individual drive mode uh, for our specific tastes. So comfort, normal, or sport for the engine. Similarly, the steering feel, suspension. Again, the adaptive dampers. This kind of lets you control the way the TLX rides on the fly. And then if you want, you can control the idle start-stop system and how it responds to the different drive modes, whether it's on or off, and the lighting, which gives you sort of an accent lighting effect. Elsewhere on board, it's generous space for four adults, comfortable climate-controlled leather seating up front and around the driver, no shortage of fixed tactile buttons and switches and chunky controls that give the cabin a busy, high-tech look. It's all about arranging common functions into logical clusters and console surfaces and presenting them brilliantly. If this is a part of the Acura interior design that you've been a fan of in the past, like me, you'll feel right at home here with the way the controls are displayed and presented, rather than buried deep within touchscreen submenus. Don't miss the wireless charging pad for your smartphone, cleverly integrated with the center console, or the wrist pad that serves as a rest when you're working the central display system via the touchpad below. This is far from my favorite system of its kind, and you pretty much have to use it. With Android Auto connected, the trackpad system works relatively well once you get used to it, though the standard Acura menu interface can be frustrating to navigate at first. And I found the touchpad setup awkward and imprecise in action until I'd put in a fair bit of practice. Shoppers should probably allow for extra learning time before use of this system becomes second nature, and be sure to check it out carefully on your test drive to make sure that you like how it works. No complaints about the instrument cluster display, here we've got a nice fusion of traditional sports gauges with analog readouts, and a high resolution central display that can be used to call up any additional information you like, including some handy readouts that help drivers keep an eye on the various safety systems and what they're up to in real time. Outside, the sleek new body ties it all together. Let me draw your attention to two things I hope my cameras have captured for you here. First, that front end and how the face looks slim and sleek, almost like it wouldn't look out of place on a low-slung coupe or roadster. And follow the lines back, and you have this sort of pent-up energy flowing from rear to front. You can see it in the body lines and the slightly arched fenders, and it all makes the TLX look sort of like it wants to pounce. Mostly, it looks like a modern, comfortable sedan, but when you look a bit more closely, you can see its athletic side peeking through the skin. And under the skin, Acura says this whole thing is intended to be their highest-performing, best-driving sedan platform to date. So peel away the layers, and that sleek outer shell, and consider the VTEC turbo engine and double wishbone suspension, and there's the promise of an excellent driving experience. On the road, that promise is largely fulfilled by way of a soulful driving experience that will readily connect with enthusiasts. Flick the TLX into sport mode and find a winding road or highway to see its best work. Specifically, there's something special in the combination of the suspension and steering setup, the snarly VTEC engine, and the surprising lightness communicated back to the driver by the TLX's steering. Driven with intent, the engine's soundtrack calls its non-turbocharged predecessors to mind, with a strong growl and a sensation that the engine is built to do its best work when it's working hard. The steering is very sharp and very fast, tuning things around the double wishbone front suspension and really capitalizing on the setup has resulted in a steering and handling sensation I usually expect in a smaller, lighter sports car. A lot of sporty four-door cars, probably most of them, go for a heavy and thick steering feel. With the TLX, Acura has gone refreshingly light and sharp. The feeling of mass over the front wheels in a corner is minimal, and the TLX feels light on its steering, light on its feet, and drivers never feel like they're wrestling anything. 
So the overwhelming sensation during spirited driving is a fun-loving engine and handling and steering that encourage you to enjoy, especially as you direct this car around with just tiny, precise, and very lightweight inputs to the steering wheel. Brake pedal feel backs it up, also precise and very easy to modulate, easily in the same territory as other favorite sports sedans from BMW and Lexus where brake feel is concerned. So an authentic and entertaining machine to drive hard. Works well on real world roads too, the highway drive is smooth and creamy, and on rougher around town roads, the suspension feels like it has a lot of travel and isn't afraid to use it. The adaptive shocks help smooth things out with real-time suspension control, and that gives drivers a machine with a very relaxing highway drive that stands up nicely to rough road and back road surfaces too. Gripes included the 10-speed automatic, which is easily outgunned by faster responding, faster shifting gearboxes in many competitors, especially the German ones, and the lane keeping and lane departure mitigation systems were an issue on my test drive, occasionally asking me to apply steering when I was and telling me I was leaving my lane when I wasn't. A quicker transmission and an improved lane keeping system would be some welcomed improvements, but mainly beneath all of its layers. It's a modern and high-tech driving experience that's true to its roots, with the ability to reach back decades and call some old favorites to mind. And there aren't a lot of sports sedans today that can say that. For 2022, the Acura TLX starts in the mid-40s and my Platinum Elite tester comes in from just under 52 and a half. Well, thank you for watching. I'm Justin Pritchard for driving.ca. Hit that like button down below if you learned something new. And until next time, take care and drive safe.